These things usually start early in the morning. In this case, we're ready to get these footings poured. About a dozen guys from Dicer Concrete arrived and started walking around and scratching their heads about my strange layout. The pump truck also arrived and set up. The pump truck has some ridiculously powerful pumps that can push the concrete up and down through its 135 foot boom. For a big job like this, the pump truck really is worth the money. You can see the form starting to lean out here. I guess there were not enough stakes in the soft sand to hold back that much pressure. After that, they filled the forms only halfway and then came back for a second pass before screeding them off. Meanwhile, a bunch of the guys were working to properly finish the forms for the garage. I was fortunate that one of the guys in the crew had done slabs for Quonset huts before and knew exactly what to do. They filled the perimeter footing of the garage first. Here they're putting in rebar pegs to mark the slope down the middle of the floor for drainage. After pouring less than a quarter of the slab, we ran out of concrete and had to wait a while for the next truck. The truck arrived and they dumped it out, but it didn't go too far either. Another truck and they're almost finished. With only one little corner left to go, they sent the pump truck home and we waited for the last concrete mixer truck. Once that was done, most of the crew left, except for two finishing guys. And my family and I pressed our hands into the stiffening concrete. While one guy used the power trowel, the other guy removed that groove form from its place. The power trowel went over the surface four times and did a pretty good job. All in all, the footings the garage took about 78 yards of concrete. The guys put down about 1,300 pounds of rebar in the footings, and I added another 530 pounds in the slab floor. It's just shy of a full ton. They came back the next day to remove the form and cut grooves in the concrete. Next step, putting up the Quonset hut.